The First Book of Moses, Commonly Called Genesis Chapter 25 Abraham took another wife, and her name was Keturah. She bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shuah. Jokshan became the father of Sheba, and Dedan. The sons of Dedan were Ashurim, Letushim, and Liamim. The sons of Midian were Ephah, Ephur, Hanuk, Abidah, and Eldat. All these were the children of Keturah. Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. But Abraham gave gifts to the sons of Abraham's concubines. While he still lived, he sent them away from Isaac his son, eastward, to the east country. These are the days of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, 175 years. Abraham gave up his spirit, and died at a good old age, an old man, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. Isaac and Ishmael, his sons, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is near Mamre. The field which Abraham purchased from the children of Hate. Abraham was buried there with Sarah, his wife. After the death of Abraham, God blessed Isaac, his son. Isaac lived by Beer Lahai Roi. Now this is the history of the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's servant, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the sons of Ishmael, by their names, according to the order of their birth, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebaioth, then Kedar, Adbeel, Mipsam, Mishma, Duma, Massa. Hadad, Tima, Jeter, Napish, and Kadema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names, by their villages, and by their encampments, twelve princes, according to their nations. These are the years of the life of Ishmael, 137 years. He gave up his spirit and died, and was gathered to his people. They lived from Havilah to Shur that is before Egypt, as you go toward Assyria. He lived opposite all his relatives. This is the history of the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac was forty years old when he took Rebekah, the daughter of Bethuel the Syrian of Paddan Aram, the sister of Laban the Syrian, to be his wife. Isaac entreated Yahweh for his wife, because she was barren. Yahweh was entreated by him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. The children struggled together within her. She said, If it is like this, why do I live? She went to inquire of Yahweh. Yahweh said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples will be separated from your body. The one people will be stronger than the other people. The elder will serve the younger. When her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. The first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. They named him Esau. After that, his brother came out, and his hand had hold on Esau's heel. He was named Jacob. Isaac was sixty years old when she bore them. The boys grew. Esau was a skillful hunter, a man of the field. Jacob was a quiet man, living in tents. Now Isaac loved Esau, because he ate his venison. Rebekah loved Jacob. Jacob boiled stew. Esau came in from the field, and he was famished. Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with some of that red stew, for I am famished. Therefore his name was called Edom. Jacob said, First, sell me your birthright. Esau said, Behold, I am about to die. What good is the birthright to me? Jacob said, Swear to me first. He swore to him. He sold his birthright to Jacob. 
Jacob gave Esau bread and lentil stew. He ate and drank, rose up, and went his way. So Esau despised his birthright. Thanks for listening. If you liked our video give us a thumbs up and subscribe, it really helps.